A crash in the S-Class can trigger the Stage 2 inches airbag system to deploy. For safety reasons, the Pyrofuse is also activated. The charge line is safeguarded by a 400A fuse in the Prefuse box, F32, and a Pyrofuse in the Vehicle Power Supply Control Unit, N82, located in the trunk. A collision might jam the line between the Prefuse box, F32, and the Vehicle Power Supply Control Unit, N82, causing it to contact the ground. The Pyrofuse helps prevent vehicle fires by avoiding short circuits in the charging current circuit. After returning from body repair, all electrical systems in our vehicle are deactivated. For instance, the key won't turn, and neither the lights nor the hazard warning system function. To charge, Connect a charger to the negative terminal on the starter battery and the charge pin on the prefuse box, F32. The charger indicates that the electrical system battery isn't connected. This should be confirmed with a multimeter. A reading of zero volts suggests that either the charging circuit is open or the electrical system battery is drained. When the electrical system battery is connected, check the voltage of the cockpit fuse box, F1-6. A multimeter reading of 12.6 volt means the battery is charged, but the charging circuit is open. Remove the trim above the electrical system battery. Check the power supply from the Vehicle Power Supply Control Unit. A multimeter reading of 12.8 volt indicates the power supply is functioning properly. Measure the voltage in the charge line at the output of the Vehicle Power Supply Control Unit. A multimeter reading of approximately zero volt means the pyrofuse is defective and requires replacement. To avoid short-circuiting, disconnect the starter battery in the engine compartment. In the trunk, disconnect the electrical system battery at the right-hand sill. To access the pyrofuse, remove the vehicle power supply control unit from its tray. Detach and take off the back lid of the Vehicle Power Supply Control Unit. Disconnect the electrical line of the pyrofuse and release it from the cable brackets. Unfasten the nuts and extract the pyrofuse from the electrical network line. The pyrofuse contains a bursting charge. During a Stage 2 airbag system deployment, the pin in the pyrofuse is pushed apart. A deployed pyrofuse pin is noticeably deformed compared to an intact one. Install a new pyrofuse on the vehicle power supply control unit and secure it at 10 newton meters. Attach the pyrofuse line to the vehicle power supply control unit, reconnect both batteries to the ground, and connect the charger. The electrical system battery is now ready for charging. The charging circuit between the power supply control unit, N82, and the prefuse box, F32, has been reconnected. Power supply to the vehicle has been restored. The hazard warning system, lights, and all other electrical controls are now operational.
clear all fault codes using star diagnosis.